I forgive her for burying me with hate and anger. I know why she had to do it. That's what got us through. So we definitely saw this in the trial, which is to say that taking MDMA and doing psychotherapy is not a, a walk in the park. Uh, people experience a great deal of distress. The, the medicine would take them back to very specific memories of trauma, um, uh, a lot of childhood trauma, uh, but it did so with a great deal of support. It did so with a great deal of uh, a sense of being connected, of being loved by the existential, by the universe, by the, the therapeutic relationship of who's in the room. Uh, we found that, uh, that study participants would, would uh, deeply track the internal states, the emotional states, the breathing of the, of the therapist that was sitting with them. Um, and then finally, people seem to be very open and trusting of their own experience. So it seems to connect people at all of these levels, the personal, the intrapersonal, and then the existential. It is uh, a ruckus process. There's no doubt about it. Um, there is no magic bullet. Uh, you know, when people take this medication, they go, it, it is not just the medication that works, right? It is uh, the medication plus psychotherapy, plus the therapeutic relationship that, that works here. And that is not an easy process. People take it and they take a deep dive into hell realms, right? They take a deep dive into their deepest traumas, which the medicine will take you to. Uh, and I think, you know, you really need to have the support of the clinician. They, they, you know, the, I, I, would say, I will say that the, the medication is doing the heavy lifting. There's no doubt about that. But there's so much going on in the therapeutic process and the therapeutic relationship that uh, you know, really does need to be there. Right. Um, uh, afterwards, people can be very destabilized. Uh, there needs to be a lot of integration work that takes place after the sessions.